Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Chip Roy just tore a strip off Jerry Nadler, folks, in a contentious hearing that you have to see to believe. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So, Chip Roy, Nadler, and others were in a hearing with Merrick Garland. And they were trying to get to the bottom of what the Justice Department is doing in both the case of former President Donald Trump that's being prosecuted by Special Counsel Jack Smith and by in the Hunter Biden trial or case that's being prosecuted by Special Counsel David Weiss. Now, during this hearing, the Republican representative was asking some pretty tough questions and Jerry Nadler tried to jump into the aid of Merrick Garland, and let's just say that did not work out for him as he got an epic, epic smackdown. Let's take a look. Uh, it's an FBI term. I don't know all the technicality, all but right. it's... Here, let me define it for you. It's in your own policy here. Okay. An individual who is believed to be providing useful and credible information to the FBI from any authorized information collection activity and from whom what the FBI expects or intends to obtain additional useful and credible information in the future. All right. And whose identity uh, information or relationship with the FBI warrants confidential handling. So these guys are individuals. You pay them forty two million dollars a year. Did you know that the, the the IG said you're paying these sources forty two million a year. Did you know that? I know informants are forty two million a year. So do you believe that they're credible? They're valuable. The FBI is using these guys. We're paying them a lot of money. Would you agree with that? I agree. Some are more very credible. good. So they're more credible. credible you're than paying others. them a lot of money. You got a lot of them out there. So let me paint the picture for America. Hunter Biden joins Burisma in 2014. Burisma, very, very corrupt Ukrainian energy company. He has no experience in oil and gas. He admits it. He says, I don't have any experience. I know why I'm there. I have a dad. I have with me a document called the FD-1023. Have you seen this? You're yes, familiar I, with it? I, okay. I, I it's used by it. the FBI, everybody in America. It's used by the FBI. It is a confidential human source reporting document dated June 2020. You're familiar with it. In this document, the FBI's confidential human source says Burisma, now the corrupt company, needed to keep Hunter on the board so everything would be okay. And according to the human source, they hired Hunter Biden to, quote, protect us through his dad for all kinds of problems. Mr. Gardelin, does that concern you? The okay, it should. I got limited time. Remember, your sources are credible, trustworthy, on, honest, and valuable. Are you familiar with Victor Shokin? The document that you Who is Mr. Victor Shokin? So I got three minutes left. You want me to answer that? Yeah, Victor Shokin. Who is he? I, I don't know. Do you want okay, me to answer he's the, the first prosecutor, question? folks. He's the prosecutor that was... He, he oversees all the corruption in Ukraine. We know there's corruption over there. For the American people watching, after a few months... A few months after Hunter Biden joined the Burisma board, Victor Shokin was named Prosecutor General for Ukraine to target corruption. And one of his investigations was into Burisma. In this FD-1023 document, the human source clarified that Burisma's CEO, the man in charge of Burisma, said he has many text messages and recordings that show he was coerced to make such payment to ensure Victor Shokin was fired. Matter of fact, there were 17 of them. Mr. Garland, it's clear Joe Biden wanted Shokin fired so he would stop looking into Burisma, where Hunter was on the board. Would you agree? All right, let's let the American people decide. Play the clip. Play the clip. Remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev and... Uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from Pay attention, uh, sir, Yatsenyuk please. that they would take action against I'm the looking. state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to press conference and said, no, nah. I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Got fired. And they put in place someone who there was solid.
Mr. Attorney General, what you just saw, there was Joe Biden in his arrogance and role as the vice president in this country saying if you don't fire Shokin, the United States isn't given the $1 billion loan. Why would Joe Biden say that as the vice president? Why would he say such a thing? Was it policy? Was it our policy at the time? Yes or no? Exactly. It wasn't. I have documents here. Interagency policy committee dated a Point of information. Is the gentleman ever Shulkin, going to let the gentleman I'm on my time question? pipe down. Saying Shokin had made significant reforms. Texas. He's made significant reforms. Shokin did. Matter of fact, John Kerry says he was impressive. And you know, within a few months after Shokin was fired, they appoint a prosecutor that said, we're not going to look in the Burisma anymore. Cancel that. Forget it. We're not looking in the Burisma. Boom. Here comes the million dollars. Joe Biden threatened the Ukrainian president and the prime minister. Everybody can see it. The fire Shokin or the United States won't give the billion dollars. If that is not quid pro quo, sir, what is? I will tell you what it is and America agrees with me. It's bribery and it's impeachable. Are you going to do something about it? I bet you not. And that's why you, sir, also need to be impeached. Now, Nadler, or as I like to call him, the penguin, deserved that. You know, these guys made a mockery of the justice system the entire time during President Trump's presidency when they were grandstanding and showboating. Now, all of a sudden, they want decorum. Now, all of a sudden, they want easy softball questions. It's absolutely ridiculous. And Nadler got exactly what he deserved. And with a tough election coming up, I understand why he wants to grandstand. But Nadler's days in the House are probably numbered. And it sounds like he's going to try to go out in a blaze of glory. Let me know what you guys think on this story, please, in the comments below. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe because, again, that really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.